Hi everyone, my name is Daryl. So today I'm going to do a video about changing the spare tire on your A-liner. Everybody's pretty much familiar with changing a tire, but with the A-liner, it's a little bit different. Um, you're gonna be basically jacking up the A-liner uh, behind the tire and from the frame. And so I'm gonna show that to you. Also in the A-liner manual, it doesn't really give any guidance in regards to changing the spare tire. So I thought this might be helpful. It does talk about adjusting the brakes and how you would raise the A-liner to do that, but nothing really about uh, changing to the spare. So that's what we're gonna cover today. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take the spare tire off. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so I'm at the spare tire and I'm gonna try one of these sockets to see which one works the best. All right, so I tried the three most popular sizes, which is the 17, 19, and 21. And I couldn't get any of these really to take bite on the bolts. So um, I do have this kind of specialty torque wrench and um, you can torque um, the wheel down or the lug nut down to a specific rating, which is really nice. And this one has a three quarter inch, which I already tried. Um, and it also has a 13 16 inch. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give these a shot and see if I can get this removed. I don't know if it's because the bolt is actually so deep in here that maybe I can't use these, um, but this does have a little more clearance. And so maybe I can get these to work. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah, so I finally found a um, socket that works and it comes with this set. So it's a 13 16th socket. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the nut off with the socket and just to see, you know, if it fits really well in there. And, um, and I'll be back in a second after I get these off. Okay, so interestingly enough, so I've got uh, a 19 16th here and a three quarter inch here and they both fit the bolt really well on the spare tire. But the problem is, is um, that socket just isn't deep enough to get in there. And so for sure, you know, maybe they sell just kind of like a deep socket. Maybe most sockets are, are deeper than this, but for sure, you know, make sure that you can remove the spare tire. Um, and um, so I got it off and now I'm going to, going to move to jacking up the trailer and um, taking, the, taking the wheel off. And... All right, so getting back to the regular tire, the typical lug nut wrench will work on this tire. Um, so you can use that. But this guy actually won't work, at least on my model, won't work on the spare tire because the bolt goes so deep into here that with this lug nut, I can't actually get it into there. So make sure, <laughs> again, that you check your spare tire to make sure that you can actually remove it. All right, so I'm gonna loosen up the lug nuts first before we lift it. So I had planned to use this really nice floor jack. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't reach the frame of the A-liner and so, yeah, I couldn't use it. So basically what I'm gonna be using instead is the is really kind of simple kind of scissor jack that came from my RAV4 Prime and it reaches. Um, it's not the greatest jack in the world, but it, I mean, it's, it works fine. It takes a little bit longer to jack up and jack down. Um, the area that actually is going to sit on the frame isn't as wide as I'd like it to be. So one of the things that you, well, first of all, you should make sure that your jack for your tow vehicle can um, reach the frame of the A-liner um, just in case you need to change the tire. And the other thing you might want to consider is getting some sort of a small wood block, really solid material that you could put underneath the jack um, and between the frame and the A-liner to better distribute the weight along the frame. Um, I'm not, not going to do that today for this demonstration, but um, something you might want to think about. All right, so I've raised it to the point where the jack is hitting the frame 
And so what I'm going to do now is jack it up, but let me show it to you. So it's not necessarily ideal. Um, the jack isn't totally resting on the frame like this portion of it isn't, um, but I think I'll be fine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. Now A-Liner does recommend that whenever you um, have your A-Liner raised that you use jack stands and I do have jack stands. I just don't know if really just for changing the spare tire if that's required, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Yeah, so this is kind of a dinky jack and I don't like the fact that but it's, it's real easy to turn up, so. Oh, uh, just for your information, I do have the other wheels chalked on the opposite side. And so you're definitely gonna wanna do that. All right, so I have it jacked up and I have the jack stand. Unfortunately, my jack stand um, didn't reach. So I put a block, a brick underneath it. And that seems fine. Um, and basically we're all set. Um, I've got it supported here and I've got it supported here as well. Um, so I feel pretty safe in changing the tire. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna remove this tire. Um, might have known it, change of wardrobe. Yeah, it was getting pretty dirty. All right, so before you install the spare, um, make sure you put the hub on. Yeah, because I forgot to do that. So I got the wheel back on, so now I'm gonna install the lug nuts. So just like a regular tire, you wanna get these on first, not really super tight, and then lower the jack um, and then torque it from there. Yeah, I will say I really love this thing just for, makes this so easy. Um, <laughs> so I will have a link to the product in the description of the video. Um, I really, this makes doing anything in regards to tires just so much easier. All right, so I've tightened the lug nuts, but I haven't torqued them down yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the jack and um, then we'll torque it down. All right, so she's off the jacks. Now we just need to torque it down. Now I've got this torque wrench. Um, I got it set for 80 foot pounds, which is just what the A-liner manual calls for. And so now I'm gonna torque it down to 80 foot pounds. One, and five. Okay, we're all set. So we've basically, um, if we were actually um, putting on the spare, we would have done that, um, but we got some good practice in. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put the spare back on, um, and we're all set. Okay, so <laughs> putting the spare tire back on, they give you this bracket back here with these bolts um, and the bolts don't stay in place, but they've got the kind of square so they don't turn. But <laughs> to put the spare tire back and to try to wrangle it in there. Um, yeah, so you're not gonna wanna try to do that by yourself. Cause I mean, you can do it, but yeah, figure, I figured the best way of doing it was to sit like this, lift up with, up with my legs, and then hold the bolt back here in place while I'm turning it. <laughs> yeah, not a great design. All right, just a couple things to wrap this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and inflate my tires up to 50 PSI, just with my little kind of a portable um, air compressor. And so this is a good thing that you might want to take with you on your trips just in case um, you feel like you need to inflate a little bit. And um, this has actually worked out pretty well. I had another one that I bought at, um, at um, an automotive store, AutoZone or something like that. And it, it was, it sucked. This thing works really good. And um, so I'm going to inflate it up to 50 PSI. The other thing, and yeah, I, this kind of reminded me Here's a little sign here just reminding you that you should um, tighten your lug nuts every 10, 25, and 50 miles. And so that's when you get a brand new trailer or basically whenever you get a new tire or if you get a flat and you need to replace it, 
um, you should also check the lug nuts because, you know, the wheels can kind of uh, reposition themselves a little bit and the lug nuts can come a little bit loose. And you, so you want to check just to make sure that if they do come a little bit loose that you re-tighten them and, and torque them down. And so, you know, I'm always taking that little torque wrench with me just in case I ever need to torque things down again. Um, and now that I found out that I can't actually pull my spare tire out without my little torque wrench, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm always gonna take that thing with me. All right, one more thing about this um, really nice torque wrench is it comes with this really nice carrying case here, right here. Everything fits so nicely. Um, and so you've got these sockets and it comes with two of them. So I'm not sure if you need any more, but at least for the A-liner and for my car, uh, this is perfect. And um, yeah, it just nicely snaps into place. And um, yeah, it's really small. I carry it in my a, a tool case um, or my tool bag that I'm taking when I'm camping. And so this is really great. So this is actually an update to the video. So I just kind of re-edited it. We went on a trip to the Grand Canyon that I was talking about. And <laughs> you're not gonna believe what happened. So on our way there, just potholes galore um, on those Arizona highways. I don't know why they're so bad. Um, so we got there, everything was fine. I was a little worried. Things were really knocked out of place inside the camper. I actually microwave uh, kind of got jarred loose, which kind of sucks. Um, but we had a lot of stuff that came loose. But anyway, I didn't even think about checking the tires. I should have um, in retrospect, but on our way um, out, um, basically, well, before we left, we kind of looked at the tires and one of them, and this is something that I have on my checklist, but we didn't do it, but it, we got to do it every single time, is just check uh, the, the, the PSI or the, the amount of air that's in the tires. And one of our tires was really low. It was down to 15 PSI. So yeah, um, I had um, I had the um, uh, fix a flat and, a, a, and, and an air compressor, but I had a spare, so I just replaced it. But anyway, so here's some, some video from that. So I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, if you got some value from this video, please like it. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new to this, uh, to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next one again very soon. Um, so watch the footage. So I just did the video on uh, changing the tire on the A-liner and we just made a trip to the Grand Canyon and you can't really tell because I'm using my my fix a flat, which I kind of recommended that you have just in case, or I mean the air compressor that I recommended that you have just in case. And I also had the fix a flat that didn't inflate it all the way. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and get this up to 50 PSI, but we're actually just gonna use the spare just in case. And then I'll check it when I get home to see if it's still inflated. Because we have a long trip. Because we have a long trip, 200 miles back to Las Vegas. And Two. I don't want to have to do this on the road. Yeah, and the roads in Arizona are pretty nasty. So, <laughs> I mean, just potholes everywhere. And so I think that probably happened on the road where, um, you know, the I don't know how good the tire was because it was kind of losing a little bit of air, um, but not like this. I mean, it was almost totally flat. So. Yeah, Nicole noticed it, that's a good thing. So that's one of the things you need to do for sure is uh, check your air before you take off just to make sure. Um, and so now um, I'm pumping it up and then I'm gonna pull the spare off and replace it. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a delay, but I got some good practice just, uh, <laughs> just a week ago. So it worked out nicely. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back